So continuing in this thread of um, introducing the rotational analogs to uh, concepts that we've previously covered, we're going to introduce the idea or the concept of angular momentum. And we represent this with the variable uppercase L and it's a vector and it has units of kilogram meters squared per second squared. <clears throat> So just like we had momentum, linear momentum was P equals MV for angular momentum. We can write the same thing where the angular equivalent of mass is moment of inertia and the angular velocity is omega. Then just like we saw, we've seen with torque and uh, I guess just with torque, um, there's a second way of writing angular momentum, and that's R cross the linear momentum. So if you have, let's say you had a ball on a string, it was spinning around like this, if this was the momentum and this is your radius, then you would get an angular momentum R cross P with the angular velocity pointing out the board. So we have these two equations for angular velocity. And then similar to, so in with linear momentum and forces, we saw that the real Newton second law equation was that force equals the change in momentum with respect to time for angular momentum and torque will have a the similar relationship where torque equals the time derivative of angular momentum. Okay. And then finally, just like we had linear momentum as a conserved quantity sometimes, momentum initial equals momentum final for, so this was conservation of momentum. For angular momentum, we'll have another conservation law. Angular momentum, momentum initial equals angular momentum final. So conservation of angular momentum.
And then finally, uh, just some notes on how to address these kind of problems. So for example, you could have a conservation of momentum problem. And we've got these two, oops, these two equations for these two equations for momentum, uh, it can be beneficial sometimes to equate these two expressions. And so you could be given any three of these variables and asked to solve for the fourth. This has been a Dr. Strassbau lecture, keep the credentials, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.